yeah, yeah. The tone she's is very, very nice. Practical. And well, I'm just going to hold letter, down. Get and real. we're just going to drop you this down. Hi right there YouTubers, how you doing? And welcome to a VR video. Not air guns this time, sorry, next time. Okay, so when you're in VR, um, it's really annoying that if you want to check a web page, you have to take your glasses off, move around, alt tab out, use your mouse, it's really frustrating and really annoying, or start peeking through the nose piece on the Oculus. So something like Elite Dangerous, where you're flying backwards and forwards between stations and you want to check certain web pages that have trade routes, the best prices, um, and some other things that you want to do. Or, when you're trading backwards and forwards in a game like that, you just want to have some music, or you want to be able to control it, or watch a video, or the news, or something like that. Would it be great if you could actually put a window inside Elite Dangerous, or any other game like that, like Euro Truck, and actually be able to watch the TV and control it while you're playing the game. Well, you can. I've just found this thing, a piece of software, it's brilliant. Um, it's in beta at the moment, so it's still being built, but it's free. Now, I'm gonna give some caveats here. I have no affiliation to the company. I don't know how the ins and outs of the software work. I can't give you any support on it, and I've only tested it on Oculus Rift and Elite Dangerous. So I don't know if it works on Vive or any other games like that. And my system is very beefy. I've got a, a Intel 5960 overclocked 4.6 gig, and I've got a GTX 1080 graphics card in there. So your experience of this may be slightly different, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you on my rig how it all works and how good it is. So catch you inside. Okay, so here we are in game. Um, you're gonna need yourself an Xbox controller, but you can use touch devices. I find the Xbox controller a lot easier. But if we look at the top there, we can see we've actually got a time, and um, we've got frames per second, and we have a little menu system. So they're really great features already to have. And if I just go and look at the menu system, press and hold, now I can use my uh, triggers and my thumbsticks on the Xbox controller to move the menu so it just works on a single browser basically this has a built-in browser that has multiple tabs so we can close the menu here or we can go into our library which is like your favorites and you can edit these in the GUI of the control app control panel app so I've set some favorites up here and I've got my elite dangerous trading tool set up here which I use a lot so if I just select it here and we can see that this is now fired up and what I can do is I can uh, scroll up and down so it's up and down with the right thumbstick and I can move the mouse cursor with the left thumbstick I can go find myself some trades um, enter in here and I can now use my keyboard Leasty, yeah so select oops that's gone wrong so let's uh, back out and what we've got here is we've got the highlighting that's moving over the actual browser window itself. We've got the address bar and we've got a back button. So I can hit the back button now, come back in. So, you know, you've got full control here. Let's try this again. Don't know what happened there. So we're going to hit control. Leasty. Yeah. Select. Cool. Let's move down and let's find our searches and find our trading routes. And there's our trading routes here, nice and easy. So really, really handy, really handy. Um, but the nice thing about this is that you can now use the triggers and the left and right thumbsticks to move the window wherever you want and resize it and put it whatever position that you actually want it to be in. So that's really, really handy. And once you've got it in the place that you want, so I like to have these windows. Now you can only have the one window, but I like to have this window sort of like down here and it's done and once you're done you can just hit the uh, the right bumper and that just takes you back out the whole of the menu system like so um, and I'm gonna go back in and you can pretty much put any web pages on that you want so for example I've got the BBC web page um, here and we can take a look at that and I can use the back button to go back so you can see how it's a tabbed browser and that's the web page now we can play videos through that as well if we want it's all pretty good now, as long as the page itself is static, it doesn't have too much of a performance hit on your system. But if you're playing video, then it will have quite a bit of a performance hit, especially when you're going in and out of stations or hyper-cruising, super-cruising. So it can cause a few issues like that. 
Um, there are some built-in apps in here as well. So there's Netflix and Hulu, which I'm, I, don't, I don't use any of these myself personally. But they're there if you need them. Um, and then we can come along and there's a browser here, which is basically just fires the browser up itself uh, for you to put in whatever it is that you want to do. The software you're going to need to do is go to www.hellov.io and it will take you to this website. Uh, and on this website, uh, it's not much of a website, there's not many instructions, it's beta or alpha, I'm not 100% sure. But you click download now um, and download V and here's the install instructions, it will automatically start to download it for you. And it's quite simple and it's dead easy. Now the whole software itself runs through a little control panel app down the bottom here. So if we come in and we just click it once and then we can come in and show the GUI and here's the GUI itself and you can see it's just simply called V uh, if you have a problem getting it to run in the game you can pick the executable of the game but I found it just injects automatically and the library here is that where you can set up your personal shortcuts which you'll see later on okay so here I am now back in my cutter so what I'm gonna do is like I said there's the menu system up the top there I'm just going to look bring it down and I like to watch the news when I'm doing my trading routes because trading can be a little bit boring uh, so I'm just gonna fire up bbc.co.uk and here we are and I'll just scroll down uh, here's the watch live uh, watch live so hopefully this is gonna fire up the referendum is there gone. Yeah, the tone is she's very, very nice. practical and I'm just gonna hold down letter, and real. we're just gonna drop this down and we need you. Um, that's where I like to have it usually. Sort of like just sat there, or I just move it up a little bit over the top of that system there, and that's quite nice. And uh, it's playing. Now the menu systems behind still work quite nicely. It's an enormous decision. Uh, I think it's a very exciting one, but I don't underestimate. Alexa, which is really about kicking off a trade negotiation, had six mentions of trade. And 11 mentions of security. It struck me as being a, a kind of so once we've got it all set up, what we do is we just hit the bumper button. That he ever needs a reason to be pictured with a pint today. You can now we can just fly around and watch the news. Now, the menu systems behind still all work, uh, but when I'm trading. I don't need any of them. Everything else now works beautifully. Now, when you're playing video, um, video will have a bit of an impact on the performance. So you need a very good graphics card to be able to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is, because if there's a bit noisy that video, you can see that working quite well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm just going to switch back to my trading site so you can hear me talk properly now. But uh, if you've got video playing, then you will get some stutters and drops in frame rates when you enter star systems or when you enter into into space stations. Uh, but for static websites, it does absolutely nothing to it. Um, now, I am running a GTX uh, 1080 and a Intel 5960X overclocked 4.6, but um, it's absolutely brilliant. And I love this. It's a great idea. And you can see nice little time and clock and frame rates are up there as well. So pretty, pretty smart, you know, it's just so easy to be able just to take a look now. We'll click the browser, switch it back on, and we'll just pick it up and we'll, I tell you what, we'll put that over there and we'll make it a little bit bigger. All right, okay, done. And then we can just fly around. Well, oh, there's the space station. Oh, it's just so nice, it's great. Now I've managed to link this into Word documents as well and all sorts. So here we are, I'm just outside the space station and I'm thinking, what is it that I need to pick up? So let's just have this D, yep, um, and scroll down, yep, that's where I'm going. What do I need? Um, oh, well, I don't want to go to here, and I don't want to go to there, and within 40 light years, go and search, tell me what I need to pick up. And there we are, There's, yeah, I can make some decent profits there, excellent, right, I'll leave that up, there's my bumper done, and now I'll go and dock, and obviously you can do this wherever you want. So, so hopefully you like this video, 
Um, if you do, please like and subscribe. Um, please share it all. It's a cool little tool. This is. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Thank you and goodbye.